Your dealership has a story to tell. Now, if only there was an aptly named way for you to tell those stories. In a recent study performed by Cox Automotive, it was determined that the average car buyer spends 13 hours and 55 minutes researching a vehicle purchase, and that 61% of that average time, equivalent to about eight and a half hours, is spent online. Today, that time is split between time spent on dealer sites like yours, OEM sites, and third-party consumer review sites. No surprise there. But an increasing amount of time spent is now being attributed to the review of social media content, especially among the millennial and emerging Gen Z markets. Yes, your Google My Business is the cornerstone of any automotive SEO strategy, and it needs to be optimized for search. And of course, your website is important and needs to be populated with fresh content properly configured to deliver a superior user experience. But a savvy social media strategy is required to connect with your growth markets. After all, that's where those consumers are. Fortunately, your dealership social media profiles provide an ideal opportunity for you to make a measurable impact with minimal resources. So let's talk stories. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and now LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Twitter, they all offer stories features that allow users to create timely, engaging content that's disappeared within 24 hours, allowing you to replace it with more timely and engaging content. It's more than just a trend though, and with stories overtaking traditional posts and popularity, they are now considered a critical content format for any business. But what are the primary goals of stories? How effective are they? What makes one story more effective than another? How often should you post stories and how can you gauge the effectiveness of your dealership's stories? So let's answer those questions. But first, when we talk about a stories post, we're talking about a single frame post. Time limits for these differ based on the platform. Facebook gives you up to 20 seconds. On Instagram, you get 15 seconds. Snapchat cuts you off at 10. Should you choose to market on other platforms such as these, here's what you'll be working with. Now the primary goal of the stories feature is twofold. Yes, the content should be designed to create natural organic engagement, but in a marketing capacity, it's all about those link clicks. Driving traffic to your site, a specific landing page, or a piece of content can be a valuable means of driving new traffic your way. While there's nothing wrong with static images, the simple truth is that video outperforms photos when it comes to stories. It's a pretty even split between the two, with videos making up about 52% of posts, but a recent study of over 661,000 stories and 64,000 stories ads determined that video content has a much higher click-through rate and drives significantly higher engagement in terms of comments. And while stories range from single frame to multi frame, the general rule of thumb for any business is to publish five stories per day minimum. Following the five times rule has been shown to increase retention rate by 70%, ensuring a greater likelihood that people will flip through your stories all the way to the end. Which brings us to retention. On average, how many stories do you think a visitor will click through before deciding to exit? Well, on average, you have up to three chances to capture their attention. And it's not all about the content itself. It's all the reason you need to explore some of the retention aids that are built into the stories features. The ability to include music, Q&As, polls, and a variety of other engaging components only serve to aid in visitor retention. In other words, if your visitors are cutting out, it's time to up your game. And if they're sticking around for your fourth or fifth story or beyond, pay attention to what you're doing because you might be on to something. Now, remember, the size of your audience will impact your viewership and retention. Not every dealership is going to break that 10,000 follower mark, and if you have a relatively small following, it may take some work to build and maintain an audience. The key is consistency of posting and a commitment to quality content, with engagement being your ultimate goal. Have you had success using stories at your dealership? We'd love to hear more, so be sure to tell us all about it in the comments. And don't forget to join us next Thursday and every Thursday as we continue to cover what every dealership needs to know about social media marketing 
digital marketing and automotive SEO right here on Just the Tip.